It's not just the UK, it's a quiet Christmas around the world this time. The Wuhan virus has forced people away from the streets and Christmas markets into their homes. The churches are near empty, midnight masses barely have attendees. Gatherings are online now, feasts have been scaled down and the shadow of the pandemic looms over season's greetings. Here's more. It is a season unlike any other. Christmas this year is silent. The music is mostly confined to churches. Gatherings have moved online. Many midnight masses have been cancelled. Bethlehem's Manja Square was almost empty on Christmas Eve. Nativity Church rung in Christmas with a crowd lesser than usual. In the United Kingdom, Prince Charles and wife Camilla joined a star-studded poem recital. Italy's famous truly limestone huts lit up with lights of hope. Moscow had a white Christmas. Santas climbed down hospital walls to greet the children. In Spain, an 85-year-old left the nursing home to celebrate Christmas with her family. In neighbouring France, grandmas braved the virus to join their loved ones on the dinner table. In Bangkok, a diving Santa spread Christmas joy. Outspreading Joy was also a canine co-pilot of a Colombian taxi driver. The vaccine also found a mention in US President Donald Trump's message. The President and I want to wish every American a very Merry Christmas. During the sacred season, Christians celebrate the greatest miracle in human history. More than 2,000 years ago, God sent His only begotten Son to be with us. As you know, this Christmas is different than years past. We are battling a global pandemic that has affected all of us. We are delivering millions of doses of a safe and effective vaccine that will soon end this terrible pandemic and save millions and millions of lives. While Trump was praising the vaccines, one socially distant Santa was spotted surfing in Florida. But the message from Santa was to stay at home. Now is the time to relax and to spend Christmas with your loved ones. Bureau Report, We On World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.